right, we are here in Tampa getting ready to pick up our budget rental car. So at Tampa, they have a train or what I call monorail that will take you from the main terminal to the, the budget or all the rental cars. It took about two minutes. It's pretty cool, much quicker than a shuttle bus. I we've been here. This looks so familiar. We did. Okay, so this. This has not changed. The budget. They do a fast break. There's a sign that says fast break. Proceed to level three. We're at level three. Looks like budget fast break is right here. Looks like there's our little kiosk right there. That should have our name on it. And there it is. I'm not gonna show it. Robert's gonna grab it. Cause it made two five. And there we are. So simple. Okay. To the left. Simple, simple. So yes, we're doing budget. Would you say K okay, what? Two five. And so I have people ask a lot of questions about how we do budget. So as soon as we know that we're gonna do a trip, he will book a budget car. Not always the best price. He, um, it's, a, it's rarely the best price. So what he does, but we just book it to make sure we have a reservation. And then two months before the trip, he'll double check the prices. And then a month out and then two weeks out. And he'll just keep checking until it lowers. And then when it lowers, he will, he will modify the reservation. You don't cancel your reservation. You modify your reservation. And then... If you prepay, because they do give discounts for people who prepay, then they'll credit the difference to your credit card, or most of the time you just pay when you, oh, a Sorrento. Isn't this our car? This is what we drive at home? It is. I don't know how to Well, I think you have to have the key to be able to unlock it. Unlock what? You got to get the key from the front. Probably not close enough. If it's anything like ours, the key has to be like close to the trunk to be able to unlock it. Anyway. So that's how he gets a good deal. He just keeps checking back. And he did. So last week, when he originally booked it, he got a crap economy. I don't remember the cost, but whatever it was, last week it went down and he upgraded to this SUV and it was $100 cheaper. Ooh, wow. If we were having tons of people with us, this one, this is not like our car. Our car does not have three rows. I don't know. I'll have to call Holly. Two top tether. I don't know. Let's figure this out real quick. We gotta lower this so we can put our luggage in. This is a really nice car. This is, we have a Kia, but this is bigger than ours. Really nice car. So what I was saying, um, cause I've had people ask like tips for the budget. So if we like budget. We've had a couple issues during the pandemic, but last couple trips have been perfect. Get fast break. It, do, it doesn't cost anything, right? You just, Correct. just have to fill out information. Oh. Um, that's all. And then, and they keep track. Of like how many times you go and you get deals and stuff so register your information and if it's not a last minute trip just keep checking back once a month a couple weeks before you leave the day before you leave see if there's any cheaper deals and like i said i don't know if you could hear me because i was wearing my mask uh, we saved a hundred dollars and we upgraded to this suv so before the pandemic um i don't think we never prepaid we would just pay when we checked out but um, they started offering discounts for prepays, and so we've been doing the prepay. Um, does that affect like a cancellation? Do you still get a refund if you cancel? No, I don't. If you get a, you get some of your money back, but I think it's a deposit or something. Like that. Okay, so that's the downside to prepay. We never had to cancel a trip, but if you're someone who cancels trips quite frequently, if you prepay and you cancel, you don't get all your money back. We have not had that happen, and so it was a good discount, and so we we prepaid the last couple trips without an issue knock on wood but again if you're someone who has to cancel at the last minute don't be bang but um and yeah this was perfect we our flight was perfect we got our luggage within 10 minutes of getting to the carousel and that we've got our car within five minutes so budget i still recommend it's a short video because it was a perfect trip and there's nothing to complain about and i am now in love with the sorrento um sorrento Sor is that what, what do you call it sorrento sorrento it's different. Though. We don't need eight, like, this many seats, but if you had a family, it's pretty cool. These seats fold down nicer than the other seat, ones. Yeah, it does. It's pretty cool. So, that's it. 
Um, we love budget. Thanks for watching and we will see you later.